So we have two positive integers such that their sum is 10, and we want to minimize and maximize their sum of squares. Well, what does that mean? Well, we have two integers, we'll call them x and y, and their sum is 10. And what we need to do is minimize and maximize the function x squared plus y squared. That's what the sum of squares means. Of course, we don't know how to do this problem yet with two variables. Uh, you'll learn how to do this a little more directly in your Calculus 3 class. But since this is Calculus 1, we only want to deal with one variable. That means that we should solve this equation for, say, y, which would be 10 minus x, and then take that result and plug it into our sum of squares formula, which we're trying to maximize here. Now this function is a function of just x. It's a function of one variable, whereas before we had a function of x and y. And we can maximize and minimize a function of one variable. Now we should have an interval for this function. This situation says that we have two positive integers such that their sum is 10. So the smallest possible value that we could have of x would be one, and the largest possible value of x would be um, if x was nine and y was one. Notice that x can't be zero because it has to be positive. Notice that x cannot be 10 because that would make y zero and y has to be positive. Okay, now let's optimize this function. That just means find an absolute max and min. So we should take a first derivative of this function and set it equal to zero to find our critical points. The derivative of x squared is two x. The derivative of this second term involves a power rule. We bring the two down. We make the power on 10 minus x one, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is negative one. So let this so let's write this derivative out and see what we got. I'm gonna just start by multiplying this negative one by this term, which makes this plus or minus. Now let's distribute, and I'm getting four x minus 20 as our first derivative. Now if we want critical points, we have to set that first derivative equal to zero. If we add 20 to both sides and divide by four, we get that x equals five is a critical point of this sum of squares function. Now to find the maximum and minimum values of this function, we just need to plug in the critical point and the two endpoints of our interval. That means let's find f of one, f of five, and f of nine. f of one is going to be one squared plus 10 minus one squared, which if I'm not mistaken is 82. f of five is going to be five squared plus 10 minus five squared, which should be 50, and f of nine should be 82. So obviously these two values of 82 are the maximum, and this value of 50 of our function is a minimum. So let's take that and summarize the answer. When x equals five, the sum of squares function is maximized. Because we know that the two integers have to add up to 10, we can include that y is five as well. When x is either one or x equals nine, the function is minimized. And when x is equal to one, y would have to be nine. And when x is equal to nine, y would have to equal one. So let's go back to the original problem. We have two positive integers such that their sum is 10. We wanna maximize and minimize their sum of squares. Well, we found that when the two integers are one and nine, the sum of squares, oh, it looks like I wrote this backwards. Yep, so I wrote that backwards. When our two integers are one and nine, the sum of squares function is maximized. And when the two integers are five and five, the sum of squares is minimized. Okay, sorry about that slip up at the end, but this looks correct now.